hi guys welcome back to the outdoors youtube channel today we'll be stepping out a little bit from what we've been we are used to and solve an issue most honda users feet uh, face with their vehicles so a few days ago my daylight started uh, uh, blinking and the vehicle will not drive will drive in very high rpms and lost power so it will not move despite being on drive i unfortunately did not take a video of this but i diagnosed the issue with a computer and got the error code p1886 which i will attach on the screen which when you google it shows that the issue is with the gearbox specifically cvt output sensor malfunction uh, to access the CVT sensor, we need to remove the air cleaner system. The sensor we are after, the sensor we are after is at the back over there. So with the air cleaner, remo air cleaner system removed, the sensor within the reach, the sensors are within the reach, and the CVT input sensor being being located down there, down here, with CVT output sensor is at the top here. Uh, the CVT output sensor is what we are after. Remember the error code said CVT output sensor malfunction. Let's try and get it out. So this is how it looks like. We, we already ordered a replacement sensor. Please note that in Kenya it's hard to get OEM parts, but we have shops that sell spares that work well with your vehicles without having to incur shipping costs. We got a replacement sensor from one of these shops. So let's go, let's go install this new sensor and see how the vehicle performs. Uh, so this is how it looks. Uh, one is the one that had a card and the other one is the one which is the new one. So let's go install this new sensor and see how the vehicle performs. We have installed the new CVT output sensor and put the air cleaner system back in its position. Now, what's left is turning the car on and see how it behaves. Crossing fingers, the vehicle ignites with no issues. So let's wait the cold engine to turn off. Then we put on the drive. And... And off we go. The D light is not blinking, and uh, I think we solved the P, the P one eight eight six issues, ladies and gentlemen. We are good to go now. Remember to tighten any bolts, screws, and nuts you might have left loose. Also, always perform a computer diagnosis. It will save you a lot of money. Like in my case, the repair guy was asking me to import a new gearbox, and yet the issue was a simple sensor. That's all for today, good people. Sorry I stepped out of the outdoorsy comfort zone, but I felt the need to help 